The University of Austin does not offer degrees, does not have accreditation, and does not have a campus. But they'll take your money as soon as 2022, and they make jokes about Joe Rogan and Elon Musk. Conservatives, many of them are happy, excited, saying finally a place they can send their kids. And then everyone else is saying it's probably Trump University 2.0. Let's take a look at their Frequently Asked Questions page, and let's see what they're all about, or at least how they portray themselves. And I want to start at this part, because I think this is very important. And we'll go back to the top. But what do you stand for? In a word, truth. In a few more words, a fearless pursuit of truth. UATX is committed to the freedom of inquiry as a precondition to the pursuit of truth. Others have abandoned this core mission of the university. It is the very foundation of our school and the reason we believe the most curious, innovative scholars and students will want to join us. Truth. The way they use truth is something I see all the time and makes me want to know exactly what truth? What is this truth that's been abandoned? Is it gender truth? Racial truth? 9-11 truth? Holocaust truth? COVID truth? You know, the whole truther? You know, I think of truthers. What, uh, what truth is it? Because I associate people going, oh yeah, I'm here for the truth. Is they just believe in conspiracy. What is it, Austin University? What? Give me one example of a truth that everyone else has abandoned. That's, as you say, independent financially, intellectually, and politically. What truth? They're getting land. Because, for some reason, they want to insulate their students from the struggle to make ends meet. And that's why they're a private university, which is going to be a lot harder for people to afford. Okay. They also say that they are not political or religious. And if you go on Twitter, go look up people excited to join them. They might not claim an affiliation, but the people that want to go sure do. All right. Why Austin? If it's good enough for Elon Musk and Joe Rogan, it's good enough for us. But seriously, Texas experienced a historic boom in capital and talent. Austin, in particular, is a hub for builders, mavericks, and creators, the kind of people you want to earn. Da, 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 da. Junk. Uh, nearly every university that stands for freedom of inquiry. That's what's different about our university. Okay! Sweet! What freedom? We are alarmed by the illiberalism and censorious prevalence in America's most prestigious university and what augurs for the country. But we know there are enough of us who still believe in the core purpose of higher education, the pursuit of truth. That's why we are building UATX at each stage of the construction of our university, from hiring staff to building the curriculum to admitting each student faculty. We I'll ask ourselves, are we serving the pursuit of knowledge? If the answer is no, then it will not have a place in our university. That answered nothing. Except it sounds like you're going to exclude students and faculty who don't believe in your truth that you think everyone else isn't covering. What is this truth, University of Austin? I want example. I want to know. Tell us. Let us know. Maybe, maybe we'll go on through. Accreditation. Seeking accreditation. Yeah, they don't have accreditation. Doesn't it take some universities a decade to receive accreditation? Our conversation with our accredited partners leads to be a much shorter time frame than that. We are not waiting for accreditation to get started on our programming. Until it is accredited, UTX will offer programs, possibly including programs in partnership with an accredited institution. Why are you seeking accreditation? We believe that the accreditation is a process one needs to reform. At this point, it's necessary to seek accreditation for our degrees. Oh, so they're against, they're against accreditation because it needs to be changed, but they want it because they then want to pawn off their post their students to postgraduate degrees at other universities and yet again, seeing things like law and medical schools really is making me worry about their truth comments. Really? Still worried about the truth? What is the truth? Why, why aren't you telling me what one of these truths are, University of Austin? You're being really not clear. Do you offer degrees? We do not confer degrees at the moment. Aw, look at that. They use the word confer to say they don't have degrees. They're still smart. They might not have degrees, but they're still smart. 
So what do you offer? All Begins is coming summer. We will offer a summer program for college students called Forbidden Courses that invites top students from other universities to join us for a spirited discussion about the most provocative questions that often lead to censorship or self-censorship in many universities. Okay. I'm excited. I'm so excited by reading this. I did not read all of this before going into the video, mind the way. I want to know what these topics are. Is this the truth? Are these the truths? In the fall of 2022, we offer several MA programs, starting with entrepreneurship and leadership. Fall 2024, we'll launch our undergraduate college. Okay, timeline, summer 22, we'll launch the forbidden courses. We already said that's literally this right here. Um, we offer other. We plan to offer masters in technology, engineering, mathematics. Our intention is to grow to graduate programs over time, other master programs, and eventually PhDs. Uh, are you currently accepting student applications? We are not solely accepting applications. We encourage you to sign up. We intend to launch a call for our Summer Forbidden Courses program, a non-credit program open to all college-age students. I wonder how much it'll be. Because I'm, I, I, if it was online and free, I would consider doing it just to see for myself, just to keep myself entertained. Will UATX be online? Will almost exclusively in person? We may use some version of online instruction. But we'll the, the, okay. We plan to release digital educational content for free. Okay, that's interesting. Our class will be traditional in person with a mixture of lectures, seminar discussions, small tutorial sessions. We all believe that educational experiences are richest when they extend outside of formal learning. Uh, every opinion will be heard, and every opinion must be supported by evidence. Okay. Um, what is the basic structure for the undergraduate program? For the first two years, undergraduate students will follow a comprehensive liberal arts curriculum in the humanities, social sciences, and natural sciences. Third and fourth years. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, their curriculum is different because of uh, combine a world-class core liberal education with a focus on emerging research centers, which will be more akin to the interdisciplinary think tanks than traditional departments. Think tanks, okay. Students will leave with a deep grounding in the most permanent and comprehensive books and ideas of the portfolio of skills necessary to flourish in today's world. And I know the, the videos kind of become slow, but I actually am trying to give them a benefit of the doubt whenever they'll actually explain what they're thinking, like. I don't know, the, the whole, the word think tank is not really giving a positive image to me personally, but hey, maybe it does for you. What is your MA in entrepreneurial leadership? Um, it's just a leadership program. I, 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 I'm not a big fan of leadership programs. Some people like them. I think entrepreneurship and leadership programs in general just to me feel like almost a scam I feel like you're just going to business like business school would be better uh i feel like i feel like entrepreneurship and leadership you just need to have a personality and you can't learn that uh how is it different from an mba uh mbas are highly ineffective in how they teach skills our programs customize skills like finance data science and operations of students interests and ambitions makes it possible to offer a degree in 12 months and opposed to the standard two year. Okay, that worries me. When you're cutting it in half, you might think something's worthless and it's not, and you're still cutting it. Just, you know, say you have 12 months. That worries me. Are you hiring professors? Uh, we'll, we'll be hiring. If you're a fearless scholar, drop us an email. Admissions, okay. Here we go. Students, you will admit. This is gonna be interesting. We're looking for highly intelligent students who are intensely curious about the world, both past and present, and wish to include a leadership role in the future. They address boldly and fearlessly the most vexing questions of human existence, who also wish to work hands-on with scholars. Not for everyone, and certainly not most. Those who are looking for a summer camp will not be happy at UATX. We will only select students who see a university education in a place where cherished beliefs are scrutinized and intellectual development is prized. Cherished beliefs are scrutinized. Why are conservatives praising this if that's true? Because they don't want their beliefs questioned and that's why they want to send their kids to special colleges? 
either the parents don't haven't read or the university isn't giving out actual what's going to happen. I haven't looked into all of the people running it. I might do a video on that if I just get the time. Um, someone else might do a better job of that, though, and I might just not. Um, with a recruitment of scholars who recruit students who are committed to open inquiry, civil discourse, and truth-seeking, who are unafraid to challenge our own preconceived notions or eager to uh, listen to debate, we accept the same quality for our students and faculty. Like, when I see this, it sounds good, right? But then if you bring in someone who goes against the truth that the university believes in, which I'm assuming is gender truths and things like that, is what I'm assuming, are they then going to be allowed to let them make that argument and debate that? Or is that someone who just wouldn't be allowed in the university? Because they're going to be broad-based and rigorous. We look for students who can provide excellent and intellectual curiosity, principles and grit. Will not arbitrary factor in race, gender, class, or any other form of identity into its decisions. Stands firmly against that sort of discrimination and admissions. I give that to them. That's, uh, that's good. I don't think they could legally say otherwise, but that's good. Uh, that's there. Uh, we'll not accept public funds. We are well plan plans to accept public funds. They do not have any plans. We are researching the effect of public funding on students and research grants. Um, we're in the process of securing two hundred fifty million dollars. We are mimicking the traditional model of higher education. Then yes, that would cost billions, but we're not doing that. Building a university from the ground up affords us the opportunity to re-examine the legacy practices of universities. UA Tech is developing a model. The reverse is higher ed's lopsided priorities of building up a bureaucracy at the cost of instruction. Our university operations put intellectual development and scholarly achievement at the center. Student affairs, athletics, and extraneous services will be outsourced or streamlined whenever possible to keep the cost down. Hmm. How much will students have to pay? Our goal is to ensure that a significant portion of students are funded by scholarships or bursaries in order to maximize access... By handling a financial model that streamlines admission costs, which allow to provide lower tuition. Sounds great. How can we support you? There's some information. Um, is uh, yeah. Uh, you post on social media to help them if you don't have money. Okay, let's see programs, please. Uh, our curriculum is designed as partnership with the world's great thinker. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, please tell me, is there anything with the, with the Forbidden Courses? It might stop students from other universities to join us in spirited discussion. Nope, nothing. I'm clicking. There's nothing. 2022, they want to do the MA program. 2024, undergraduate college. There's an image. None of these are clickable. Um... Of a founder. All right, so here's phase one. This is a little bit more, I think, kind of. They want to recruit 10 founding faculty members and launch the Forbidden Courses. Founding, uh, founding opportunities. Uh, scholarships for students. Uh, $250,000 a year to support 10 students. These are the immediate needs. They only have 10 students? I guess 10 students with scholarships. Uh, founding faculty fellows. Half a mil per year to support 10. So they're paying them $50,000 a year. Scholarships for grad students. $40,000 a year to support 10 students. $400,000 was $40,000 per student. Annual Forbidden Courses Summer Program is a million dollars per year for 200 students. $3 million per chair. $3 million per year or $25, $25 endowment for the MA programs. $50 million per center naming opportunity. You got $50 million, you can get a name. Undergraduate college is a $100 million naming opportunity. And the land, $25 to $100 mil. Go back to their main page. And there's the advisors. Um, any names you recognize? I know I'm cutting off the ones on the left, but 
I've seen her before as a journalist. For sure. Um, a couple of faces look familiar, but nothing that I'm super. Uh, here's uh, Founding Faculty Fellows. The one from there. And yeah, that's it. I think that's it. I, I, I think I've given the best coverage I could uh, going through it. See if there's anything else on their page they've posted, just in case I missed it. No. It's just, uh... I believe, I believe that's, uh... One of the people that's involved in the university, so... If you got this far, tell me what you think. 